Hey guitar legends, Sam Wilde here. We're looking at Senorita by Justin Timberlake today. Really cool song, super fun to play. Um, this isn't going to be a long lesson because it's just two parts. You've got the main chord progression and you've got the bridge part. You're going to want the capo on fret 6, otherwise it's very difficult to play this song. And it doesn't sound as good, right? So this way we're making it sound better and it's easier to. The basic chords are just E7. Okay, but we're going to have lots of decoration on top of this E7. Then we have A minor 9, which is just one finger, so that's a nice part. And then D minor 7, which isn't too tricky as well. All right. So at the very least, you want to be able to play these songs. All right. But you'll hear that doesn't sound right if we just play E7. Because we want to get those extensions to make the E7 really sound cool. And the last two chords will be the same. So first E7 extension, what you want to do is get your first finger and you're going to play three notes with this one finger, which is a little tricky because it's just going to be this top segment of your first finger here that's going to be pushed in here to the first fret away from the capo on G string, B string, and the E string, right? Then your middle finger needs to stretch upwards, and already this is going to feel a little bit tricky for you, okay? But I have the thumb right into the neck here to help kind of pull me in. Right, so always do the first finger first, or you could do the middle finger first, but I prefer doing this thumb first finger because you can kind of pinch with the thumb to squeeze the finger in, right? Then you add the middle finger here to second fret from capo on the A string. Now if we play everything now, it should sound like this. Okay, we're going to strum all the strings. Then the second shape, we're going to have the same thing, but this time we have just a regular E. So we've gone from this flat 9 to no 9. Now we're going to have to swap our fingers around here to get this new shape, right? So you only need to do this chord for one strum and then we're going to change. I want you to have your third finger now here on the A string second fret and you're going to have fingers one and two to cover these top notes, all right? Finger one is on the G string first fret, finger two on the B string first fret. And now we have open E, right? Again, see where my thumb is? My thumb is pushed, curving around the neck. You can see it kind of waving hello <laughs> at the top there. And that's going to help us get a nice grip here, okay? And keep the wrist nice and straight. So practice that shape as well. Okay, these are the two basic parts of the E7 chord. All right, the second part, we're going to keep this second shape, but we add the pinky, the fourth finger here, to the B string, third fret from capo. Okay, so we have without the pinky, then once with, and then again once without. Okay, so we all together now. So the pinky is down for one strum, that's all it is. Okay, and you can just strum a bit more aggressively. And you'll notice this hand comes in, I bring it down onto the strings, otherwise it's going to ring out. And that's not how it sounds, it's like a keyboard, right? So it's going to be blank, 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 blank. They're nice and short, so you need to block off the strings with this hand. You just twist in and just rest the side on the strings. You do that in between the strums. Watch. You see how I cut it off? You can do two there before you cut it off. Just do one, cut off, one, cut off, one, two, cut off. All right? Then the last part's nice and easy. We do A, A, D. 
So two on the A, one on the D. Right? And you can see I bring the hand in after the first strum. But then again, I do two strums before I bring it in again. So one, bring it in. One, two, bring it in. Okay, you can just, you, this might just come naturally to you. You don't have to necessarily count <laughs> when to bring the hand in. You just have to think about in your head when you want to cut off these chords. And you can add a slap there if you want, just to fill the space and create some sort of drum sound. Like that. Okay, and that's all it is really. Now, if you're more advanced, you might want to have some sort of ghost notes in between. So basically, in the background of your mind, you might have this underlying rhythm. And you can kind of have this happening with your wrist as you're playing it. You can see my hands kind of wiggling away. Right, all I'm doing is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just feeling the music and just adding tiny little scratch sounds in certain places. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. Okay, so you really don't have to do that, but it, it just kind of helps you to feel the music. You just get these really subtle scratch sounds that creep in. Okay, if you're more advanced, you can kind of think about that. But honestly, don't worry if you're a beginner. Just do this. It still sounds wicked. The only other part we need to learn is the bridge. Okay, the bridge has some tricky chords in. But essentially, we're going to change key a little bit, right? So coming out of the when I look into your eyes, I can find that I can find, and I know if you give it a try, I keep falling for you. And we come back in, all right? So we have some nice chords here. We have B flat 11. Now you can do it with that top note or not, it doesn't really matter, all right? All you're doing is barring the whole of the first fret from the A string down. I tend to just help my first finger by pushing my middle finger into it, like a crab, right? Because your first finger is on the strings, but you can help push it in with the middle finger. You see how I stack them and then squeeze the thumb together? All right, you're trying to almost create your own extra kappa here. And then we can go to B flat major six, or just B flat major, whatever. Okay, you can bar the third finger down or bring in more fingers, whatever you find easier. And then we go to E flat, and I mean E flat in relation to the capo. Obviously this isn't actually an E flat, but in relation to the capo it is. And again, you can do that as you did your B flat chord. You can do the same fingers. Right, you can either do several fingers, just the third finger, or you can do this sort of C major, uh, shape version for E flat, all right? Next we have this A flat 11. Again, in relation to the capo, it's an A flat 11, all right? I appreciate it's actually a D11, but to the capo, it's A flat 11. Then we go to A flat, regular bar chord, or you can use the thumb, or just do without the bass. 
that it's quite easy to do a bar chord when you're higher up the fretboard. If you were down here, it's a little trickier to do a bar chord, but here, it's doable. You should be able to get most of these notes out, hopefully. Then we have D flat major seven as well, right? Hold the eleven. All right, so let's look at the rhythm for this bridge. To be honest, you can kind of play around with this, do whatever you want, but I will give you something to work with. I like to play down, up, up, 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 down, up, up. Same here. Down, up, up, 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 then one and two and three and four and. So it's only at the end that you just do down strokes. One and two and three and four and. To come back in, all right? But the rest of it. Down, up, up, down, up, up. And you can hear, this is in between. So I go down, up, up, down, up, up. I have this scratch sound. It just fills the space whilst I'm changing chords. You don't have to do that. You might find it just happens naturally if you're moving your hand. Now you can add in extra strums if you want. You hear I'm going more like down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. You can add strums like that if you want to. It's totally up to you, or just keep it simple. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Alright, that is everything. All the parts are covered now, so if you want to try and play along with me, you can. There's a short play along. I haven't done the whole song because it's just the same thing again and again, right? So once you feel good with this, I would get the actual song up on YouTube, if I were you, or Spotify, whatever you use, and try and play along with it, okay? Just make sure that you can play it comfortably first with me. Um, and you should be good. If you found this lesson helpful, please give it a thumbs up, a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon as well. Good luck with the play along. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. One, two, three, four.